This install was filmed with an early release bike. Sometimes these bike designs change over time, so please check the description below to see if we've listed any changes. Hi and welcome to the Mustard Bikes Garage. My name is Mark and today we've got the new KTM 2022 RC390 on the bench. We've got one of our tail tidies and we're going to run you through how to fit it from start to finish. Before we get started though, we're going to need some tools. To get the job done, you're going to need a 10mm socket, we've got ours on a T-bar, a 4mm and a 5mm Allen key, a pair of long nose pliers, and a 10mm and a 14mm spanner. You also need a pair of side cutters, just to cut off the ends of the cable ties. In the box, you'll find the product card that gave you the link to this video, two arms for the tail tidy, a little bag with a couple of nuts and bolts and cable ties, and the tail tidy itself. Now we've got our tools, let's start by using our key to take off the rider's seat. We then lift up this panel with the key lock in it and pull it away. Using your 5mm Allen key, remove the bolt underneath the pillion seat. We can now remove the pillion seat. Slide it backwards and then forwards from underneath the strap. Underneath the rider seat, we're just going to unclip the part of the wiring harness here. This will give us a bit more room to work with the wiring. Under the seat, we'll find the wiring for the rear fender. It's underneath this rubber shroud. Push the shroud away so you can get access to the three plugs. In here, you'll find a green plug, a red plug and a grey plug. We need to undo all three of these. To remove the rear guard, we're going to have to remove this lower cover off the fender. Using your 4mm Allen key, remove the 5 bolts shown here and then pull the cover downwards to get it out of the way. Lastly, to remove the rear fender, we need to remove these four bolts using a 10mm socket. Just be wary that when you remove the last bolt, the fender will come away from the bike, so make sure you're holding it with one hand. Then also make sure that as we pull it away from the bike, these wires don't get caught. Feed them out one by one. Now we've got the rear fender from the bike, we can start putting the tail tidy together. If you're reusing the stock indicators though, we'll have to disassemble this a bit more first. To start by using your 14mm Allen key to undo the two nuts on the indicators. Next we need our long nose pliers and we're going to push these clips in while we lift up this steel frame. This takes a little bit of practice to do. But you should be able to lift this frame up just enough that you can hold it up a little bit. This will then give us the room to pull these wires through. Pull both the indicator wires all the way out just be careful for these hard bits here that hold the resistors. We don't want to bend those. So just do this for both sides. And we can then fully 
remove the indicators. Be cautious that you don't catch the wires here. And again, be careful of that resistor. And that indicator can then be fitted to the tail tidy. Just make sure when you do, that you get the same indicator from the same side on the same side on the tail tidy. Before we continue fitting the indicators, we need to fit this plug onto the wire for the LED bulb. You'll find a separate video on how to do this via the link up in the top corner here. When attaching the plug, you need to attach the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the brown wire of the original plug. So we can now take our indicators and fit them to the tail tidy. The green one goes on the left hand side. So we're just going to feed that wire through there along with the flat washer, the star washer and the nut. Feed that through. Position the indicator and you'll see this little pin goes in the little hole just here. And then we take our 14 millimeter spanner again and do that up. And of course, we then do the same to the other side. Now that the indicators are fitted, we can start to assemble the tail tidy. We're gonna need the two side arms, as well as the two bolts and two nuts that were supplied in the kit. We're gonna fit the arms onto the outside of the tab here. Put the bolt through, along with the nut. Then we're just gonna take our 10 millimeter spanner and our four millimeter Allen key and just do that up until it's snug. No need to do it fully tight just yet. Of course, we do the same to the other side. Before we fit this to the bike, we're just gonna tidy up all this wiring. We're gonna run one wire up each side of each arm. Now you may find on this 186 version, it's easier to run the one wire across to the other side. Now an important thing to note here is again, this stiff part on the indicator lead. We're gonna run that between this cable tie and this hole here. So just sit that over there and then use this pre-installed cable tie to hold it in place. We're gonna do the same on the other side, except this time we're also gonna run the LED bolt wire with it. So just run those, pull this one so it's nice and neat, and then do that up. In the kit, you'll also have found a few extra cable ties. They go through these holes once again, just to hold this wiring in place. And just make sure that that little tab is off to the top here so it's nice and flat. And the same on the other side. We then take our side cutters and we can trim the ends off these cable ties. Now take the last cable tie in the kit, just run that through here. Again, just make sure that this bigger end is on the back.
and then we can trim that one off too. And this assembly is now ready to fit to the bike. Now we're back at the bike, we're going to start by feeding the wiring through this original hole here, just feeding one through at a time. And we can then pull the tail tidy all the way up and offer it into place. While we're there, we're going to take one of the original bolts and just wind that into one of the holes so that the tail tidy stays in place. We can now fit and do up the remaining three bolts. Push down on the back of the tail tidy and then do up the two bolts using your 10mm spanner and 4mm allen key. With the tail tidy attached, we can now reconnect the wiring. Red to red, green to green, and grey to grey. Pull the little rubber shroud back up and push the wires back into their position. Before we go any further, we're just going to safety check our lights. Turn on the ignition, check that the number plate light's working and that both your indicators are working on the correct sides. While we're here, we also like to give the brake a quick dab and just make sure that our brake light's working. If your number plate light isn't working, most likely you've got the two wires for your plug attached back to front. So swap those around and try again. Don't forget to put the wiring harness back in the clip we removed earlier. Next we can refit the pillion seat and then reinstall the bolt using the 5mm allen key. Next, we reinsert the locking plate. Just make sure when you do, that you fully engage the rubber at the bottom here. We can then fit the rider seat, and all that remains is to fit your number plate and go for a ride. After a few rides, it's worth going over everything and just checking that all the nuts and bolts are still tight. We hope this video has helped you with your installation. If you haven't yet purchased this product and would like to, you can do so at mustardbikes.com. Don't forget to tag us on Instagram, share what you've done on Facebook. We love hearing back from our customers. Don't forget to like and share this video as well. It helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We can now remove the pillion seat.